there. Now All it right. should be recording, I think, question mark. That That's where usually means it. I it hope. is, yeah. Okay. Well, we're at the first stop. We're at Chili's. Happy Eat. Veterans Day. Mary getting out of the Navy day. <laughs> and now it is recording. Hi. Where the fuck are we again? <laughs> <laughs> We're at Dickie's Barbecue Pit now. <laughs> Trying a pulled pork sandwich. Yeah. Haven't been here yet. It's supposed to be pretty good though. Seems decent so far, yeah. question mark. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's good. You know what this could use? A little bit of like some kind of condiment. Barbecue. Yeah. Do they have like a I don't know. Or you can just catch up. Huh. Mm -hmm. Ketchup was mm -hmm. fried. Gross. They got some around here. I need, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll have some soon. They got some barbecue sauce. Right here. Oh, nice. Not quite napkins, but. Yeah, one for Jewel and one for me there. And that works. Fine. The <laughs> I was just saying. I wasn't telling you not to make a mess. I was telling me to not make a mess. Um, and I failed. Too late. <laughs> yeah, they got sweet, spicy, and original. We're trying the original. Sandwiches than I do. I'm just gonna say that. What? You know way more than I do about pulled pork sandwiches. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, I used to get these when I was in art school. There was a really good pork uh, barbecue place right by where the school was at. I used to go over there and have a pulled pork sandwich right before the. Oh, what was it called? The still drawing? I feel like that's the biggest thing I learned in the Navy was you get presented with food. You don't question it, you just shove it in your mouth. Right. Well, you do question it. You question it extremely, but you still eat it. Right. <laughs> Especially when you see boxes coming in, it says. Yeah. Not for human consumption. <laughs> Not for human consumption, for institutional use only. Right. <laughs> apparently sailors Those aren't don't good count. Signs. Yeah, apparently sailors don't count as people. <laughs> That's better. Food stuffs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it was still good before. Yeah. 
it just wasn't blatantly apparent to us. They should have just had a big neon sign that said, hey, Dumbo, come over right? this way. Right? <laughs> just because we haven't been here yet. The lights keep flickering on that. Either that or when I shift. Okay, mm-hmm. I see what's going on. When I shift backwards, mm-hmm. I'm seeing a different view on it. Right. Because I move too much. <laughs> I think it's good. I like it. I think you're slow. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm already at I'm sorry, I don't eat as fast as you do. I actually have to chew my food. No, that's just a waste of time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> just inhale it. <laughs> Like a snake swallowing a golf ball. (laughs) (laughs) God. Jesus. Woman, you raised me. (laughs) You should know by now what I need. (laughs) Two speeds. Haste. Where the fuck's the food? It's decent when I actually find where I put the hot sauce, but not hot sauce, uh, barbecue sauce. It's all in the back. <laughs> there was a story I wanted to tell. I'm trying to remember where it was. Like, it popped into my head. And that shit happened when we saw that woman beating up on the, the um, guy in the wheelchair and then I just faced on it because yeah. I was just filled with rage. Right. <laughs> yeah, that pissed me off too. I know, right? You got quiet, you could tell. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Corey whipped the van over there. <laughs> Would have been kind of funny if you took out the person. <laughs> Fucking vehicular <Yes>. manslaughter. <laughs> oh. It's not the same story, but it's still kind of a funny one. I talked Connor about how to memorize the uh uh, it's the, the gun rule for, uh, the, the definition for deadly force. Give me a second to finish my fucking food. <coughs> Excuse me. Hold on. I need a little more shit on my fingers. Fuck. Huh? I said I feel like I got some sticky shit on my fingers and that always bothers me. Oh, mine need a wet wipe. <laughs> yeah. I'll just lick my hand. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> well, the problem is I wouldn't make it any better because my no. hand, my tongue has the fucking, the, the sticky shit on it too. Yeah. <laughs> so I taught Connor how to remember the definition for deadly force. So, 
what we were taught in the Navy was that before force is a force the person uses is causing, what the person knows or should know would create a substantial risk of causing death, serious bodily harm, or injury. That's the proper definition. Sounds like a lot of word salad, right? Yeah. I, I, I slowed it down and broke it down for me. Deadly force is a force that a person uses, causing, or that a person knows, or should know. That's the part right there. It or should know. Takes into account stupidity. Yes. And for whatever reason, that resonated with him. So he remembered it as, it's the one that talks about remembering that people are stupid. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. I ended up kind of being, I don't know if I could call it mentoring, but I ended up helping him with his first wall, the main wall that they force you to get when you're in security, the, uh, the patrolman wall, and you need to take a test for that, and that's one of the things you need to be able to write down. Yeah. That and stuff like the uh, justification for deadly force, uh, the eight justifications for deadly force. And it's funny, because the reason that even popped up was because we were just talking about uh, running over a person. And I thought, well, if you look at it from the right perspective, that could be considered either inherent right of self-defense or defense of others. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, defense but we, of others. We do not need to commit heinous murder. <laughs> yeah. I would have heard her a little bit. Her. Yeah, but that's the thing. <laughs> you hit her with a car. <laughs> I think that could be considered wielding a deadly weapon. <laughs> Long handicap too, so. That's fair. Because I mean, under that circumstance, it's like, uh, like there are certain circumstances where certain means of force aren't applicable and aren't viable is what they, right. they, they, they talk about them not being viable and I guess one of those would be like so like if a woman is real small mm-hmm. and she going up against like someone that looks like the Arnold Schwarzenegger mm-hmm. Terminator status mm-hmm. we're not talking about Master Roshi Arnold Schwarzenegger right. which is what he looks like now <laughs> but uh there is a thing for that as well I just wish I could like get us back in I wish I could get us more in screen. Every time we go into one of these places, we're not anywhere near the screen. I've just been sitting back like this, like you can see half my face. And, I mean, enough of my face to where I can cover it up with one hand. <laughs> but, uh, so like a little small petite girl thinks someone like nipple size. Right. Going up against someone Arnold Schwarzenegger size. Hand-to-hand combat, not really viable. So it is reasonable for her to jump up to the next stage. Mm-hmm. So I suppose in that circumstance, you could she definitely be allowed a woman. In your circumstance, I suppose because you are handicapped and can't move properly, I guess a vehicle counts. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure how that would work, but I don't think it would end well for us either way. Mm-hmm. But we can both agree that what that person was doing was definitely wrong. Yes. Shouldn't be beaten no up on what was going on. Man had a fucking boot. Mm-hmm. And you're whacking him in the back of the head while he's sitting in a wheelchair. Probably not the best call. And definitely not something you should do in public. But people feel emboldened for whatever reason mm-hmm. to beat up on men. Which is just stupid. You shouldn't hit anyone, regardless. Mm-hmm. As much as we joke about running this person over. <laughs> I remember something silly we used to do with these things. Just we would uh, take the, uh, the ends of them and fucking shoot them at each other. <laughs> I remember one time Dad got me right in the eye with one of these. <laughs> Whack. I didn't, it didn't hurt. It right. wasn't like, oh God, no. It was right. like, he fucking, and I had closed my eyes, right. but it fucking hugged me right in the eye. <laughs> Perfect aim. <laughs> I don't remember where we were. 
I remember a couple of different incidents where we had like food and stuff early on. Like I remember one time at McDonald's. There was a time when we were at McDonald's. I remember we had gotten ice cream, and you guys thought I had been having a brain freeze, but no, I was just doing this, <laughs> where I was just staring at a spot, but not seeing anything in front of me and not thinking, because that was something that I used to do and still do quite a lot. Right. I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't leave that on the table because this thing is rickety as all hell. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, talking about that was just staring oh. into the distance. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I, remember, I still remember that one time we went to the mall, the one I tore down. Mm -hmm. Went to the mall and there was a thing of ice cream and for some reason I couldn't make myself eat it because I felt like everyone was watching. And I pulled over at the mall. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know why that happened either. Like, you were self-conscious that day. For some reason or another, I yep. guess. And it's the weirdest thing, because there were moments like that. And, like, I, I would get self-conscious about how I walked, and I would always, like, uh, it, it turned from one walk to another. When I was at school, the way I would walk. I'd, I'd like start walking one way, and then as soon as I started thinking about it, I'm probably walking weird. I'd walk a different way. I'd like something would happen, and I'd like jumble switch my it up. I'd jumble my <laughs> steps. Not even switch it up or do it intentionally, but I'd like jumble my steps, and then keep going in a different way without meaning to. It's the weirdest thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fucking weird. So you think we're done here? Excuse me. Where do you think we're going to be heading next? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> Canada. Let's we'll see what all's up here now. Yeah, there was that shopping mall place right up yeah, here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. All right, so we got to get these now. It's like a bucket list, except it's just Veterans Day. Right? <laughs> Mark that one off. Oh, don't die on me now, Ken. <laughs> Suffer. There we go. Alright. Yeah, so... Not quite a Navy story, but I am trying to do, like, a story at each of these places we go to. Right. So we had the uh, ghost stories tinker <laughs> at the last one. Obviously, I didn't get a chance to record that because I didn't think about it until afterwards. Right. And then we got this. Where I talked about being a weird child and running people over. <laughs> I forgot to bring that thing too. Damn it. Oh, speaking of Connor, I actually still don't know the name of his child. Oh, the girl? Yeah, I don't know it. I, I, I think he mentioned it at some point, but he said it in passing. Um, well, I have the attempt to stand up a small room on acid looking through a kaleidoscope at times, so I didn't notice that. I feel like there was something I was going to say about Kel. I don't remember exactly what it was, though. Oh, I was going to talk about what we ate in the last place. Mm. So you, had, you had the, like, chili and side soup, and I yeah. had... And this is exactly for Kel. I Sorry. had a quesadilla. Quesadilla? <laughs> he, he's a giant, glorious, Tex-Mex bastard, and he hates it when you say things wrong. So oh. just tell him, grassy ass, quesadilla. Okay. Uh... Uh, what's another one? Uh, trying to think. Uh, there's a bunch of them you can just mix. Mix up. Take obviously Spanish words and say them in the Wrong least way. Spanish way you possibly can. The only phrase in Spanish I can still remember is Lo siento, no habla español. <laughs> Which means, I'm sorry, I don't know this. Right. I, I don't know Spanish. <laughs> I think. Something like that. Yep. I learned more German. And even then, I don't know much German either. <laughs> I actually asked Dad recently if it was the right uh, the right way to say it. Ich glaube, du bist verrückt. And he said, uh, you can use that or you can use Ich kenne, du bist verrückt. Which is, uh, both of them mean I think you're crazy. 
I don't know why I learned that. I wasn't a part of a curriculum in freshman German class <laughs> that I took in senior year and in freshman year, because in freshman year I got a D, which means I didn't get to pass the next one, but I did technically pass because I was a lazy bastard in high school. We both know this. Yes, we do. Especially considering when I got into college, I got onto the dean's list. Yes. <laughs> in my defense. That's why I was so angry with you and John, because I knew better. Yeah. Especially when you had to come up to the school that one time and be like, take him out of the special education math and English classes. Right. He, 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 he does doesn't not, need to be in no. there. He's just lazy. Yes. Don't you dare put him in that. And then as soon as they took me out of it, I was fine. Mind you, I still was lazy. Yes. <laughs> Expressly lazy. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe that they were doing that. It's like, I don't think so. In fairness, I Christmas treat the fucking Ames test. You know that, right? I know. Okay. Straight up Christmas treat that shit. Yep. Because you're lazy. Well, I know. at the time, because I wanted to read Harry Potter instead. <laughs> Especially when they told us it wasn't affecting our grade. And right. It's just like, well, in that case, <laughs> no one will ever know, yeah, except in that everyone case, knew. Who cares? And, and then everyone knew. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. I should have brought that with me. You can't tell a kid. This doesn't affect anything, but you need to do your best. Right. Because they're not gonna. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like I said, when I got into college and I actually cared, I had a, what, 3.5 GPA for the longest time? Mm -hmm. I don't know what it ended at, but it was above 3 at least. Certainly better than the 2.2 I ended high school with. Right. <laughs> failing a math class in senior year because I'd already gotten a D on it before <laughs> and just didn't care. <laughs> I was telling Jasky about that the other day too, talking about how I failed the math class and you guys wanted to say something about, while I was in the late entry program, you wanted to say something about, hey, we just, we can play games all day if we don't give them a time limit or something. Right. And so you tried to give the hour long time limit and that lasted a week. And I didn't listen to him during that. <laughs> yeah, and in fairness, in fairness, I understand I shouldn't have done most of those things looking back. You're a kid. But exactly. That's what kids do. That's why you were in trouble. We were being, trying to be good parents. I mean, you were good parents, again. Trying to get you to do what you needed to do. That was your only job. But we always told you guys that your job. Yeah. Oh, well, look at me now. Yep, that was your one and only job. Again, I would say that I turned out relatively well regardless. Yep. And towards the later parts, I started to, like, once I got in the, the Navy and everything, and started to recognize what I actually value. If I could go back, I would fix those things. Yeah. I'd go back and I'd, I'd uh, actually apply myself just to see where I stood. I think that would have been interesting. But, no sense in worrying too much about that now. Yeah. If you think about it, if I could go back and do the things I know now, then I'd automatically quit. <laughs> Right. Because it's like a cheat code. I wonder if this will count. Usually, like, if you post up videos and stuff, It'll get like copyright strikes for certain music. I wonder if this counts for that. Right? Maybe. I don't own this music. 
Also, I didn't choose this song. <laughs> You're in no another country. I mean, I'm just saying, I didn't choose this song. No. It's playing in the restaurant. We didn't pick it. What's that? This is the one from 2018. When we uh, went to the uh, zoo? Zoo. Oh. Is that a Veterans Day thing? Yep. I don't remember being here for Veterans Day. Yep, 2018. I mean, I got out of what, 2017. What? Wait, this is this is me and Daniel and Alex for sure. I think I you, saw I'm me. pretty sure you were here too. I was wearing my uh, my oh, Fullmetal Alchemist shirt. Yeah, I you saw were me. here too. Because we were at the zoo. Excuse me. I like the part where it just said Daniel did a bunch of things. The, the I mean, air sex surgery or whatever. My immediate thought was, huh, Daniel. You yeah. got something you got to tell us? I don't know you were in the zoo. <laughs> right? Where? <laughs> Kingfisher. Man, this was from a while ago. Man, that, yeah. Okay. That table's bothering me. Messing with my skin a little bit. Otters. <laughs> Those are your favorites, aren't they? Some yeah. of your favorites, anyway. Oh yeah. Giraffes are obviously your favorite, but you like otters too. Oh yeah. Without meaning to, you actually ended up on screen for once. No. <laughs> <laughs> What do you want to do with these things while we're in other places? I feel like we should probably like rinse them out or something. No, I've still got Dr. Pepper and I was just leave it in the car. Oh, okay. Um, I should probably rinse mine out. Mine is empty. I don't want it to get sticky too. Great. Is this, who's, uh, is this on a YouTube channel or? I think I just put the pictures together and shared it, I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, I think one of the first things showed a picture of me on there too, so I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. I was here for this one. Yeah, you were. Here, I'm going to see if I'm trying to get this out so we can get to the next place. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and turn this. Oh. Where are we going next? I don't know. Well, we gotta figure, figure that out. Figure that out. One day I'll actually figure out how to get us both in screen. What <laughs> <laughs> go? What was it? What was this place Okay, called? we just stopped by Buffalo there. Wild Wings. <laughs> we were there. We just got our wings and fries. <laughs> and did not stay. <laughs> Power box, this little face shows up, and I'm like, oh, Gotta go attack. I couldn't, uh, yes, hello. I, couldn't even, or I did hold her like this and everything. Back yes, right here hi, in front of hello. Here, and she's like tripled in size. She's so excited. <laughs> what and the world's about. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited? Are you outside and happy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Penny? Meet Penny. Yeah. Penny. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like I was saying, as we were, right as we got up here, <laughs> she was saying to me, it's very well behaved. And I said, as soon as we get close enough, because right. she's a puppy, yeah. she's going to bark. <laughs> yeah. Again, still much more well behaved than our dogs, because our dogs hear a gnat farting in the distance and they go red alert. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if it was just because when I found her, she yes. was all like super Hello. Like, shell shocked or something, but. Yes? Um, yeah, there's a lot of dog fuzz down there. <laughs> oh. oh, she probably. Dogs are really good at recognizing character oh, and yeah. intention. Oh, so yeah. she probably recognized you were there to help her. Oh, yeah. And once I gave her that water, because, like, I mean, she was, like, sucked in skin, oh. like, ribs and everything, showing yeah. her, like, just a tiny little thing. 
I didn't know if like somebody couldn't take care of her, didn't take care of her, was somebody's like a homeless person's dog or something. Right. Or maybe but, she was just born on a street yeah, or something. any number of different things that could have happened, but you decided right. to help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and honestly, yeah. that's admirable. Yeah, and that water, like, she will not leave my side. I can, just like this, she's <laughs> always like watching for me, never, like. Never too far away. Yeah. That's awesome. It was really yeah. funny. Um, Hello. Because, uh. I had yes. an old roommate come back town. Uh, Hang on, I'm having trouble keeping track of you. And she's met people, but no one's been in my place. And uh, we were hanging out in my room, keeping it all G-rated, but we were just cuddling in bed. And, I, and she's like, can we let the dog in? I'm like, yeah, open the door. She was like a, a girlfriend finding somebody cheating on somebody. <laughs> she like came up and was like, what are you doing? Ooh, you're cuddling with him? And like jumped and like got in between us and was like this and like, Don't like you poking, dare. poking her with her nose. It was the cutest thing I'd ever seen. And I was like, because I've only had like male dogs, but I've never had a female dog. And it just so happened this came out. But she was the sweetest little thing. And got to experience a little bit of doggo jealousy. Yeah. <laughs> but every night she's the biggest little cuddle bug. She'll Can- our dog Kinder does something similar to that, but for her, it's how dare you pet another dog? Oh, right? Yeah. Talk yeah. about we've got right now. We've Come actually in. got. Come. We got about four dogs in total. <laughs> yeah. So we got four dogs in total in the house. Two of them are ours. Two of them aren't. Kinder's one of those dogs that's ours. Uh, if we go to pet the other two dogs or the the third one, Buddy, if we go to pet them. She has to get her face involved in that. Like, no, you got to pet me too. Me too. Me too. (laughs) Yeah. Well, uh, do you guys ever give him CBD or anything to like calm him down or anything? Uh, I don't. No, we've never given the dogs anything. I mean, I do have some samples if you guys want. I mean, I do have a CBD store, everything, and uh, if they need to bring down a little energy, or if you have any ones with uh, old age or anything like that, hip dysplasia and anything, um, I can give you guys some samples and stuff. Actually. My older dog just turned 12, and he's having a really hard time. We give him the joint just, um, medication. Just like to, stuff omega-3s and like good dog yeah, stuff for him. and he's still having a hard time. So maybe we ought to try bringing him down here one of these times. You can do and, that, or I'll give you some right now. What size and everything? He's um, he's a German Shepherd mix. So Penny, he's pretty Penny, big. hey, come here. Come here. I didn't say nothing, hey. <laughs> but hello. <laughs> And I'm glad she's not one to just start to, like, cut our conversation. I'm glad she's right. not one to, like, bolt after shit. Yeah. Or, like, you know, just be one Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. even just leaving her right there with the... Uh, sorry, I'm motioning with this thing. It's making everything blurry. Just motioning or uh, sitting her right there. Uh, I can imagine a dog that's less well-behaved would just go through that. <laughs> yeah. She's got to watch out when she's chasing her ball around because she'll slide around and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. A lot of dogs do that. A dog kinder nearly brains herself every time we <laughs> toss the ball for, or heaven forbid, laser pointer. Oh, yeah. I haven't gotten one for her yet. I might, we might have to make a... Let's see what she does yeah, here. Yeah, talking about... <laughs> <laughs> Penny. She wandering into some other stores here. <laughs> <laughs> Wandering into some other stores. Yeah, maybe we ought to think about... We, we should talk to Dad about it first, but... Maybe we ought to think about maybe checking out this store for Buddy. Um, Hello. How about I keep you over so here for CBD, a little bit? Um, just like for us and them, <clears throat> anti-inflammatory properties. Penny. So, yes, when they've got like their own four joints for us and the age and everything yes. like that. Hi. Um, Hello. It's the inflammation that's going to get them sore. They're not going to jump on things the same. They might not greet you the same. And when dogs are in any type of pain or discomfort, they'll still, they're like, I mean, they're man's best friend. They're loyal with that. They'll look at you, say, thank you for the food. I'll have some of this, but I'm, I'll come back to it when I feel better or something. Or they just mm. will say hi to show respect, but then like kind of recess back to like a spot to chill and hang out. Right. Um, so the CBD actually works for inflammatory properties. <laughs> Penny! I guess she wants to go over there. Penny. She really wants to say hi. Penny! Hey! Come on! Come on! Penny, Penny! Come on! Come here! Come on! <laughs> Let's bother the pretty lady there. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, you gotta imagine she is a puppy. <laughs> oh yeah, she's just super exploratory. But yeah, so maybe we ought to take, well, talk but with yeah, Dad about um, it. But yeah, it's actually gonna not just 
like help for like a band-aid per se this is something that's going to work with the like inflammatory properties and like actually put relief and help with the pain just like with us and everything so um you said it was a what dog again I'm he's sorry. a german shepherd mix. german shepherd yes yeah. all right he's a big, pretty big burly dog about oh, 100 yeah. pounds and germans uh goldens or anything that's like high breed dogs and stuff like that they all have those type of issues my golden did um but how are the teeth the teeth are fine fine okay yeah. Um, just depends because I was going to see which ones I would be putting in there because our 25 mils are it says horse treats but we give them for bigger dogs they're pretty much all horses uh, but they're very hard so if there's a teeth issue we tell people to either break it apart and put it into a food bowl or put it on a separate plate for them to eat um, all natural all clean products and it does have everything like a dog treat would like the crude oils the fats the omega 3s and everything else that like a dog would need for you know beneficials for any type of food or anything Okay. Uh, yeah. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Red alert. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, watch out for that. Yeah, no, our, our, our dogs do that too. I, I got them to where if I just do this number, they will jump up like that. I'm trying to get her to pump down a little bit. This thing. We do have some older people that come through, and I don't want her like right? rushing yeah. up and come she's here. getting big enough to. You'll she'll take try, someone out. Yeah, she'll try to push someone over, but she's actually been like really good with like women, kids, and like <laughs> anyone who like doesn't match her energy. Like with you, she would mess around and do that, like yeah. jump to you. But for you, like she just knows not to mess with you like that. Yeah. Or like she, yeah. I've seen her with the older people that I've seen come in where I'm like, Penny, no, and she, she doesn't do it the same. Or uh, with kids. I had a little kid in here, uh, one of my regulars. She brings her little son in for yeah. five years. He's being a little kid, you know, grabbing her skin, her ear, yeah. and like kicking her off the couch, but like a kid playful right. kick, you know. But yeah. push her off, hit her on the head, didn't do oh, anything, didn't eye. snap, didn't wow. do anything. Yeah, it's a good anything, girl. So. That's nice. I'll say don't Come sit in. down because it'd be right on the pee. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of squatting at this point. <laughs> yeah? What are you doing back there? Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna say hello. Are you saying hi to all the people? Are you saying hi to all the people? Hello, hello, hello. Little reindeer. Get you some reindeer outfits. You could probably find some of those actually. <laughs> well, let me go grab you a few things and. Uh, okay. Awesome. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, so that seems pretty nice. Yeah. We'll have to do a little bit of research just to make sure yeah. that that's something we can actually give Buddy. Because I don't know, I don't know a whole lot. I've never actually heard of CBDs. I have. Okay. It doesn't really work for me. Well, it, it doesn't. Work for Buddy, though. Doesn't work for you, but maybe for Buddy. We'll yeah. see. We'll look into it and also ask dad about it before we do anything dad doesn't know anything about cbd either ask what he thinks about it at least involve him in the conversation because it'd be rude not to there i'm gonna go ahead and stop it's extra dark Hi. but we can kind of see everything okay hello so we stopped at aldi's to get some calzones for alex and i think we're gonna call it quits for the uh, veterans day now yeah yeah we're good we got, We're not going to like six other places that no. you have planned. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'm full. I need an adult. <laughs> we still have a better wings. adult than this one. <laughs> <laughs> we still have wings and French fries to eat when we get home. <laughs> All right. We're Happy good. Veterans Happy Day. Happy Veterans Day. To that happens to be watching. Happy Veterans Day 2022. Hope yep. you had a great one. You guys take care. <laughs>